Hi, welcome uh, back in the tape corner because uh, this video was mostly a tape update. I have some vinyl, but not a lot. Um, yeah, let's just start. Um, I want to thank uh, the recent subscribers for um, subscribing. It's not huge numbers, but everyone's appreciated, especially um, the ones that commented or um, added to the dialogue. So, thanks for that. Um, like I said, five records. Uh, these are mostly from recent gigs and then some mail order, of course. The first one is uh, Institute with Catharsis on Sacred Bones. This is uh, from last year or the year before, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't say here. Yeah, on Sacred Bones, uh, post punk. I saw these guys last week together uh, with Partizan band we are uh, doing on hypertension um, yeah post-punk um, not the best sacred bones band I saw um, not like a destruction unit or something like that but nonetheless great great sound these guys have uh, like I said the record is called Catharsis it is just on a black vinyl Nice inner labels with the Sacred Bones logo, and then there is this prayer book slash fold out poster, which just has hands holding a poster with hands holding a poster, and then some lyrics on the back. You get the idea. Always nice packaging from uh, Sacred Bones, that's for sure. They have a lot. I love the um, the variety on that label. I mean, they have stuff like this. They have John Carpenter on there. Uh, so what Jesus Records, which it's her label, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, like something like Destruction Unit, which is um, one of the better bands to come out lately. So yeah, Catharsis. That's the first one. Then uh, last week I also went to the Cocaine Piss no shirt uh, Torso show. Torso is a uh, female fronted hardcore band, I think from the Bay Area, I'm not sure. They're from America, that's for sure. And this is the re release of this record, uh, Community Psychosis. Um, and this is the re-release because it has extra demo tracks. The first release was a black cover. Uh, like I said, this is the demo tracks uh, on the record. This is actually a nice package. It is a one-sided clear 12-inch with a um, straight-edge fuck you screen printed on it. It is on Agi, Agi Punk or Aggie Punk records. It's quite a nice record. The weird thing is, this is one sided, but it's. This is also a playable side, but it's just screen printed over the playable side, so. I'm not sure how that works. Um, it comes with some insert stuff. It has this fold out insert and this is just punk hardcore and I got this this is the European tour poster which the guitar player printed it was it was like three bucks and I thought it was a nice extra to put in with the record so I got that there are some stickers in here somewhere but it's just more of the same Tofsel stuff. Alright, they fell out. Get in there! So, so yeah, stickers. More like that. Artwork. I think this is by, um... Isn't this by Dead Traders? Or what's his name? The one who does all these records. So yeah, Tofsel. Wow, this is not easy to get back in. It was a great gig. It was in a small basement in Antwerp. We saw them and then cooking this and uh, were good gigs. They had me going for a while. Check
check them out, of course. Uh, then I was um, waiting for this record a while to show you first, nothing, tired of tomorrow. Uh, but I wanted the um, red blob and blue with the 10 inch. Unfortunately, I can I I don't know how, but I missed it. So a friend of mine, Rink, he does. Um, is I think he's their tour manager, maybe, or he does something for them. Not sure what. And uh, he was in England with the, with the guys, and he picked up this for me. This is the this is the Rough Trade um, exclusive color limited to 300 on gloomy gray vinyl. Like I said, this is nothing. I'm tired of tomorrow. Nice glossy sleeve, love the artwork. Just the album title painted on uh, on top of buildings. The cell back has a picture of them. And this is a great record, real summer, real summer record. And this is a pretty cool insert. This is almost plastic. A lot of the um, the drawings on here that became the nothing emojis um, yeah so this is um, the rough trade exclusive it is mastered very very quietly so you have to really turn up the vinyl looks okay and it's real apps so I don't know what went wrong I think this is real apps right yeah it has to be real apps uh, but it's so quiet you have to turn it up all the way to, um, to hear it I thought something was wrong with my stereo, but apparently it is a record. So yeah, I um, he picked this up for me on a on on a hunch because I I have the I have the baby blue pink merch coming in, so I'm uh, trading one of these two. But depending if the mastering is better on the other one, I'll um, I don't know, maybe I'll keep them because I'm still hunting for that other one with the 10 inch. But like I said, a great record. I'm not as into it as the um, the previous one with the flag. I'm blanking on the title right now. But um, really good tracks on this one, and um, yeah, definitely top ten, top twenty year material. Then out of the post punk stuff and into some metal, like usual. This is uh, Triangle by Shamash, I'm not sure how to say it, Shamash, Shamash, S-C-H-M, S-C-H-A-M-M-A-C, no, S-C-H, I'm sorry, on a prosthetic. This is um, triple record, it's triple gatefold, nice artwork, these guys are from Switzerland, I'm almost... 99% sure yeah from Switzerland this is limited to 666 in total and 200 are white or something like that 666 yeah 200 are white this is the white edition they had it at a, uh, at a um, distributor in Holland so I picked up the white one there is quite a lot of black in here so I guess uh, this was one of the first press after black this is what happens is they you can choose if they clean out the press or not and I think they kind of did but kind of didn't so there's a lot of black streaks in this one which makes it a um, an even more limited copy I guess not that it matters. Um, sound wise, this is kind of like a behemoth, I would say. A little bit more refined, maybe. Not as straightforward and heavy. There are track lists spanning the entire back. It's triangle, so it's a, uh, a trifold record. One is a process of dying, then two is meta flesh, and three is the supernal clear light of the void and it all has subtitles like six five and five tracks on here quite a good record um, came to me through I think YFXM um, 
showed it or talked about it. I'm not sure. One of the one of the YouTube guys that are into metal and um, and talking about it. Not going to get it back in the sleeve. So yeah, Shamash or something like that. They had quite a good interview in uh, Metal Hammer, I think, in the Subterranea parts of the magazine. Then the last records, last final, I went to see Sun last week, busy week, or is it two weeks ago, I'm not sure. Um, two and a half hour set, it was, um, yeah, like always it was Sun, it was my seventh time I think I saw them, but it, uh, in my opinion it's time they changed Phobolus. I love Attila, I like Attila, he does very very good for them, but um, I, the first time I saw him was with Julian Cope and with uh, Atua from Boris, and that was very different, I've seen him three times or four times now with Attila, and it's, I think it's stagnating a bit, I'm not sure, sun is always sun, but, you know, shake it up a little bit, eh, it's not my band, so... Who am I to say? Anyway, this is uh, the life in Moscow. Uh, this, they didn't have this at the show. This is limited to, I don't know how many, but it was really rather quickly sold out, actually. Uh, a live album by Sun, so you know what to expect. This is on Ideologic Organ and Southern Lord. It is a gatefold. And the inside has a lot of black and white photos from their live sets. Once again, it's with Attila. Here he is again with his mirror crown. Like I said, it's a cool set. It's, it's awesome to see, but you know, would like to see something else. Not getting out all the records because it's just black, 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 flooded in black, and it's three records in a gatefold sleeve, so it's a bit pressing it in. Uh, it doesn't come with anything extra, it's just, yeah, straight up, straight up black package. Um, the cover art by the same guy that this, did this one by um, Koma Works, Manuel Tenemans, and I kind of like it. It's a Russian guy, blasting through something. The back is also in Russian, completely in Russian. 2015 live gig. So I have no idea what it's limited to, but it's sold out. I think they'll repress it like they repress everything. Not sure I will get another Sun record, a uh, live record, because, yeah, like I said. Then onto the tapes oh, six, seven, eight, nine tapes. Uh, the first three are the number two, three, and four on Underground Soundscapes, a Greek label that is run by George Zarakas, Zarakas, I'm not sure. It's in Greek, so it's not pronounceable in English. Um, the first one he did was the... Um, God damn it, those names. Brulfarnatu, this one, I've shown it in an update, which was a nice box set. Uh, now for the three next, he just did a Straight up tape, and the first one, and bear with me, because once again it's one of those names, El Huraya, I think it's this one, so that's number two. And then we have Vargast, uh, Into Weeping Firmament, this was an EP, they did digital, and then he put out the tape. And then number three is Feral Mind, uh, Force and Flux, and this is an older one, I think 2013 or 14, a demo. Um, but I'm not sure about the rest of it. There's nothing much to find about this one. Um, they're, it's all black metal, but all very, very different. The first one, the um, Aluraya, is uh, I think my favorite. This is limited to 120 came with a huge poster, and then 80 just with this. Um, this is a weird sound because there's a swing to this. I, I mean, yeah, that's that's how I can that's I can that's the only way I can describe it. There's there's a swing to this. It, yeah, it swings. <laughs> Check it out. They have a lot of 
a lot of material, but um, this is the first I have on tape. Then Bargast is um, a black metal side project of the guys, some of the guys in Tao, uh, D H O U, the um, sludge metal band from New Orleans. And then, like I said, for your mind, I have no idea where they come from or what they are. But check out this label once again. That's Underground Soundscapes. They have a rat. He has a rat as logo. It's a one man. Um, a one-man label who also does some distro for uh, tape labels and uh, yeah you should check it out if you're into stuff like that he does distribution for Rasu Batlat uh, which these are number six and eight I think um, this is Daggerlust and Utsalu Uzalu had a, this is the full length and they had a split and a EP on this label, I think. This is a uh, tape only label for now. Um, except for the Trivium foul that came on final. But uh, yeah, also this is black metal label. Um, and this is very more, this is very much aggressive black metal, very lo-fi. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to say. The label is black, the website is black, the tapes are black, the artwork is black, but really, really love this stuff. The Dagger Lust is my favorite um, from all the tapes. Um, and they are doing a full length. Of, this is two tracks, and then the next one has three, I guess, which comes out in July, so next month. Uh, check it out if you're into yeah, black metal, bleak black metal. Then almost there the last uh, dark black tape I got this in yesterday from um, I'm not sure what the well it's sold out anyway so it doesn't matter but this is from Darkness Attack Records I'm not sure that was a distro I got it from but anyway this is a perverted ceremony a black metal ritual black metal duo from Belgium I've shown the demo tape some time ago and it's here somewhere yeah I'm not seeing it probably has a uh, same kind of artwork as this one so it doesn't show up anyway look at um, the title is preferred ceremonies of or uh, it's the piss grave video I guess um, this is their second demo called Sabbath of Behezael like I said on Darkness Attacks Records, it's limited to 33, I think, but they did a small extra run because the band asked them to, uh, because the demand was high, I guess. Uh, this is number 25, and this is a dirty, <laughs> dirty ass tape. It's all scratched, and it's just a Maxwell clear tape, not a pro tape, great for everyday recording, nothing on here. And then the artwork is some of the most DIY I have seen in a while. It like this. There's some Dutch text on here, and then there's a band picture with the two guys, Baron Cimitaire, which means Baron Graveyard, and then Morbid Messiah, which just means Morbid Messiah. Yeah, very lo-fi, very distorted, very unlistenable, and also very good. Um, I've listened this one-sided, I think, because I put it on this morning and the, the B-side is just blank, but I have to check it out again. Anyway, I think a lot of people looking into this channel would love this. Uh, and then, three last ones, once again, I... Um, went to the Institute show and then picked up this. This is um, at the Nightlight in Oakland, August 6, 2015, a live tape on Sacred Bones. It is a screen printed cardboard like this. It has a white tape in here, Institute. And it's quite a good live uh, performance on tape. It sounds good. So this is available at the, um, at the site. It comes with this screen printed thing. Institute. Say thanks, Cody, Adrian. 
Life CS Life Cassette. So yeah, check it out. I don't know what the limitation on this one is, so no idea. And then last but not least, I got two miniature grails for me. Um, the City Hunter Knife Protocol and then the Creeps there. Uh, Self-titled tapes in their VHS boxes. Um, both on Blackout Rage Records, I have shown the Bloodlust, and then I have the City Hunter Blood Pack Edition. Here it is. That's the first City Hunter full length, I should say. Um, yeah, let's crack them open. These cost. Well, the, the guy who saw I, I got him at Discogs. I uh, got the Creeps there, was up, and then I uh, bought that one and I asked him, Do you have the City Hunter 2? And he said, Well, yeah, but it's more limited than the other one, so I don't want to sell it for a, for a cheap price. But then it had some, you know, it's bent, there's a crooked line in there, there's a thing out of the side. So I got him for a fair price because these both are limited to 100 copies and Utatech sold out in like half an hour as usual. So uh, he sold them for a fair price, shipping was okay but then I got fucked by customs so I had to pay an extra 30 bucks or something like that. So that makes these two the most expensive tapes in the entire collection. Cool thing is the guy on Discox who sold it to me, it was a guy from Brooklyn, it was called Lost Remains I think, the uh, distro. Yeah, well, it's not this what the guy selling, but he has a lot of cool things. And he uh, gave me half back, so half back from the shipping. Yeah, he gave me the, the entire shipping back. So yeah, long story, very long. This is the City Hunter uh, Denver Slaughter Knife Protocol. It is recorded live on 4Track, 19 December 2015. And this is just total pissed off, weird ass hardcore. Uh, the guy on the front is actually the singer, he uh, performs, I don't know if you, it's red so I don't know if it shows up. This is number 65 out of 100 and this is the black, you also have the Flooded in Blood which is a red clear tape. Um, yeah, the tape comes out, it's like a VHS box. So the tape comes out, black shell, like I said on Blackout Records. Really cool thing to have. I uh, I was in love with this thing the moment I saw it, and then uh, when I got it, even better. The, I don't even. It doesn't even matter that there's a there's a hole in there with the hollow sticking on there. Super cool thing. The audio quality. It's a live show. It's a hardcore show. So we need to get your hopes up about good audio quality, but it's, it's listenable. And then the last one was the Creeps there. Um, it's called, yeah, it's self-titled. There are three tracks on here, Cup Problem, Set and Done and Black Try. Um, same packaging, same horror sticker. This is a black tape with red on it. This is double-sided. This is number 78. And then there is a small lyric booklet with a live photo and a chainsaw going through, I think, Texas because it has that weird stuff in there. Pissed off hardcore and uh, yeah, with tracks, titles like uh, Cop Problem and stuff like that, you can imagine the, um, the lyrics. So yeah, four piece, four piece band. I don't know much. I think it's from Denver or that area because um, Black Outrage is like the Bloodlust stuff, um, City Hunter, that's all Denver, Civilized is Denver, so I guess these guys are also from the Denver neighborhood. Looking forward to the both these full lengths, especially the City Hunter one. Check it out if you're into pissed off hardcore and once again this is how, how the symbol looks like. He performs with uh, with the knife in his hand and then um, he has a severed head and stuff like that, so yeah. Knife protocol. Guys, that's it. Um, next up is another 7 inch video, I guess. <coughs> um, and then, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see.
that's it for now. Small updates, but um, long enough. So I'm going to leave you. Have a nice week. And until next time.